This is what remains of Britain's largest anarchist bookshop. The Freedom Press bookshop in East London was hit by a firebomb attack in the early hours of Friday morning. It took firefighters two hours to put out the flame. Owner Andy Minecar says there were about 8,000 books on the shelves and there is now tens of thousands of pounds of damage. About 5.30 in the morning, someone smashed in the far window of the shop, which you can just see down there, uh, poured in some sort of accelerant that set fire to the place. Uh, there's a huge amount of smoke and uh, water damage to the stock. The Freedom Press was founded in 1886 as a much-needed outlet for anarchist thinkers of the time. Today it says it continues that tradition, supporting and promoting current social and political struggles. It stocks thousands of books, newspapers, pamphlets and CDs, information that somebody obviously didn't want around. Luckily, no one was hurt in the attack. On Saturday afternoon, dozens of supporters gathered to help with the clear-up. It's a shock. Um, it's always something that I guess we've been aware of because of that history, I think, in part. But yeah, it's a shock and we're just glad that it's not worse than it is. This for me is the saddest part of today. I mean, this is the, um, the archive of Freedom. The paper goes back 125 years and this is one of the very few copies left in the world that um, is obviously now pretty much beyond repair. A similar attack in 1993 was at the hands of the far right, and suspicions here are that this time there are similar culprits. Organisations like the Freedom Press come under pressure and surveillance from many quarters. Particularly recently, the, the use of undercover officers to infiltrate us, the um, general harassment of people being followed around, the tactics of kettling that have um, put off a load of people from, from getting involved. So, yeah, that, has, that has, is, is a strain as well. But uh, again, it's something that you realise with the actual groundswell support that we, we're having today is something that we, we can overcome and, and beat. A Metropolitan Police spokesman said inquiries into the circumstances of the fire are underway, but at this early stage it is being treated as suspicious. No arrests have been made yet. As for the bookshop, Andy says he is determined not to let anything stand in the way. It will be open again by Monday. Nagus Mubalari, Press TV, London.